ain't scared of shit, nigga. I ain't scared of shit, bitch. If a nigga play dumb, he gon' learn the damn shit. I wanna kill my own kind, but they pose as dust and shit. All my life, I wanted it all. I ain't never get shit. Son, what's good? It's your boy, Super Sonny G, the greatest and one and only, you feel me? And today, I'm gonna bring you, like, this shit crazy. I'm gonna bring you, like, a rant and some predictions, ideas, and theories and shit about Power Season 6. This shit all over the place, yo. Like, one of the first things I'm gonna talk about is, like, who called in Lakeisha's murder if Tommy didn't? That, that shit really don't make no sense. Because it... In the beginning of the episode, Tommy tells Blanca he didn't call it in. So how the fuck she knew he she was dead? I mean, they told her if she didn't come in, she'd lose her immunity. Uh, but she died. So she couldn't come in. So did the police come and check up on the house? And if so, where did Tommy and Cash go during this? Because you got to assume this is like the very next morning that... Tommy took cash to his father's house And I don't even know how the fuck He knew where his father lived at I mean did Tommy did, I mean did cash tell Tommy where his father lived at And for real I thought his I thought his father was still locked up or something I didn't know he was out like roaming around and shit Like Okay So If the police came to the house to check up On him Where did Tommy and cash go during this Cause Tommy he went in the house, he fell to the ground, he told Cash to sit in the car. And he was crying, the episode ended. So at what point did they leave? And like, if they left in the morning, the police would have been there with them, if that's the case. And why didn't he do anything with her body? I don't, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, I, I'm still trying to figure out how he knew where his father lived at. I mean, maybe Cash visited his father on the weekends, but I don't know. I thought he was locked up. And, like, what point did the police come see her body on the floor and learn she died? Did anyone investigate? Um, no answers. Like, does Tasha go down? Does Tasha go? That's what I'm also trying to figure out. Do she go down for? My fault. Do she go down? For Lakeisha's death, or did she go down for Terry Silver's murder? Cause it seemed like the yo, all that information she gave them fucking police, it seemed like that shit gonna bite her in the ass. I might try and come back to that. Um, no one is still no one is questioning BG's absence or Dre's absence. Like, two been spanky left BG to guard Dre, and I guess it's like they never went back to that spot that they was at. Cause. This shit ain't been talked about at all. Ain't nothing been spoken about. Shit, wild. Not, not one fucking mention. Like when uh, Tommy even called those niggas up to go to the warehouse. Not no mention of BG. So it's, it's like they just glossed over that shit. It's like, do they even know he died? I mean, they, they would have to, and they would have to know Dre is missing too. That shit don't make no sense. Next thing, why did Benny go alone to kill Tommy and not send his goons? Because he was a made man, my mafia nigga. So why would he go by himself with a knife? With a fucking knife, yo. Shit, dumb as shit. He went there with a fucking knife and got stabbed the fuck. <laughs> Both of them niggas got killed with their own weapons. Jason and Benny. That shit crazy. Nigga pulled the knife out. <laughs> tried to make a quick... <laughs> tried to make a quick stab. Nigga turned that shit around on him. That shit didn't make no type of sense. Nigga was leaking food coloring all over the place. And then it looked like it was a uh, fucking Capri Sun Juice at first. When uh, he took the... Nah, when Tommy first stabbed him. It looked like Capri Sun Juice came out his fucking chest. But for real, for real, Benny should have sent some niggas to go get him. I mean, and he popped up in truth. Like, he broke in the truth. He could have broken the Tommy. Nobody, none of Tommy neighbors noticed what happened. They ain't hear nothing. I mean, that would be the best way to get away with some shit like that. But then it's like, how did he, like, dispose of his body? Because he has to be dead. He, like, 
That was too much food coloring. He bled out too much. What's the next point? I mean, but yeah, he should. He really should have sent some niggas to go get him, bring him to him. Like, uh, two Ben Spanky did with Dre. Brought Dre to Tommy. That's what really should have happened. And for real, with Benny dying like that, Elise and Marie gonna have to go into the system now. Because ain't no way for that little girl to go. Unless she got other relatives, which we don't know about. Hopefully she know their number. Um. Oh, yeah. And that information that's on that uh, little, what is it? A thumb drive, flash drive, some shit. The little disc or whatever. I'm trying to think, like, because he goes as a lieutenant governor now. So, what if it's no use and goes grant Tommy immunity? Or will Tommy go to jail for something else? I don't, I don't fucking know. I mean, ghosts? Okay. Logically, the way this shit looking, is like, ghosts are not go. he's not gonna go down for Terry's death. It looked like Tasha is actually gonna go down for that because she gave the police way too much information. I don't know how the fuck she knew the address, uh, not the address, but the floor and all that shit. Like, she knew. How would she even know that he killed him in the parking lot? The parking garage. How, how, would, how the fuck would she even know that happened there? But she told him the trunk, all that. She told him niggas everything. And what's gonna happen is, how the fuck you know all that? I mean, Ghost could just, like, just, like, claim his innocence. Like, he could just say he was innocent. He don't, he don't know nothing about that. And she knew everything. Um, the fucking phone, too. Uh, okay, so... Like the the thing with the phones, maybe it's a it's possible sex knows it's on the phone. I mean, if he was able to get into it, cause some people were saying it might be Tasha's phone. I don't know, I don't know about that one. Maybe I don't know. Um, but she was calling Terry after he died, so I. I don't know. And like when you think about it, it wouldn't make no sense for Ghost to leave that body there and not clean up. So it it would have to be like planted, and then how much time passed. Since Terry's death, the shit not making no fucking sense, dog. But it, the only logical thing is it would have to be like a plant for somebody else to get framed. Sax might know what's on the phone, and it's gonna, and he might help Ghost. He might help Ghost because Ghost let him live. Um, possible theory. Uh, when Tasha goes to get uh, jail. Ghost might have to kill Tariq. He probably do. And if Tommy goes to jail without Ghost granting him immunity, Ghost be, Ghost will probably be the only nigga left. So that's probably why it's called Power Book Two Ghost. But I mean, even then, what the fuck will he do after that? Cause like, if he Lieutenant Governor, he ain't not gonna want nothing to do with fucking drug games. So what the show gonna be about? Uh, I'm not trying to see Tariq kill Ghost. That's that some stupid shit. Uh, maybe Tate gets Ghost's son taken out of Callister Prep, and Ghost picked Tate apart. And the deaths were just like, nah, here you go. But in all honesty, it's possible to die that quickly in real life. It's just the way the shit happened. Don't make that much sense. I mean, a nigga going there by himself, and he ain't had nobody. Jason ain't had nobody like waiting outside with him. He just went there by himself. That would have been the smartest thing to do. But I mean, I guess he trusted the situation. He was like, if Ghost was going to do something. He'd have did it already. Um, and I I feel like it was something else I wanted to say about the whole Terry Silver thing. I'm trying to remember it. Um. What happened? Ghost possible theory. Ghost not gonna go. Ghost not gonna go down for the Terry Silver thing. Tasha is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Okay, so 
another thing is if they check his body i mean it probably should have decomposed for I don't, I don't know like that shit gonna be stinking in the fucking parking parking garage ain't nobody gonna smell that shit whatever um but yeah they had sex in the parking garage her and terry so her dna is gonna be on this nigga And yeah, there we go. Now it's coming back to me. Her DNA gonna be on this nigga. So, like, like Sax was telling her, the nigga like done betrayed you publicly, humiliated you. So, this would be the best way for her to get back at Ghost, uh, framing Ghost for the, uh, Terry's murder. So, with all that being said, this would be the easiest thing for her to do. But with her DNA on the nigga. It's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like everything is gonna point back to her. Now, all these fucking notifications. Now, for real, for real Tariq a real piece of shit, y'all. His dad risked his own ass to save him multiple times, and then he tried to rob his father out of two million dollars and keep one million for himself. And what the fuck would he have done with the money if he got away with it? I mean, he got away with it, but not with the money. Tasha didn't even tell Ghost about the shit neither, cause he, Tariq told Tasha what the plan was. Like, he made he set the shit up. And he told his dad, "You might have given me life, but you were never my father." Bitch, is you serious? For real, for real, he was never his son. Like, this nigga, bro, nigga went to go. Nigga went to go. What was it? Season four. That was season four when they killed Jukebox and he went to go save him. I, this shit just stupid, yo. This nigga really taking care of you. Even the whole Angela situation, Angela helped out. Tried to make sure he didn't go to jail. I mean, sure, he, like, kind of broke. He broke up the family. But he always took care of the chick. That shit stupid. How you say that? You might have given me life, but you were never my father. What the fuck? And then everybody blamed Ghost for everything. And for real, Ghost didn't need to tell Tommy to plant a gun for him at all. If he bought a fucking building, like who writing this shit? If Ghost needed an untraceable weapon, he wouldn't like he wouldn't have a connect for that. And even if he needed Tommy to bring him the weapon, Ghost could have stashed it. His, he could have stashed it himself. But kept it on him since he was already past the penthouse. No, he he was already past the uh, metal detector at the penthouse. Um, and these niggas always receive text messages at the right time, like back in season four or the beginning of season five when Raina died. Tariq told Dre at the right moment them niggas had to drop on him, and Dre was able to escape. He put a hole or two in one of the niggas, and Tommy texts Jason right when they in the fucking elevator. What Unless Ghost texted Tommy that it's about to go down, which I don't think he did. Like they, ain't, they ain't show that. Um, and later on, there's a guard on top of the elevator, or, on to or he's either on top of the elevator or on top of the building. Nothing happened. And how long was he up there for him not to notice the body? Cause it, it was nighttime, like the whole day passed and shit, or whatever time it passed. And like he he should have seen about how the fuck how first of all how he got up there how long he had been up there why he ain't see the body because if the guard that was downstairs that go spoke to like call the police when the light skinned nigga walk upstairs even if he told that guard to go upstairs and check how the fuck did he get up there that fast? Bro, that's not even how I, I, bro, I, don't, I don't know. That's just some shit to think about, y'all. But this shit longer than I wanted it to be. But it's it's whatever. It's your boy Super Signy G, the greatest one of you family signing up.